Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and it's Friday. Uh, I hope everybody has a good Friday because I know that everybody on a Friday gets a chance to go home and do their thing. Um, I get to do my thing every day, which I'm very fortunate. Uh, I'm very fortunate, but today what we're going to do is, is I'm going to try, not try, I always say try, I don't know why I say that, but I'm going to sheath in the exhaust pipe on the other side. I got the other side ground down, so I'm going to sheath that in. We're going to do a, it should be a good visual. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do it by myself. I'm set up here a little bit. Um, I wasn't, well, basically what I've done is I've ordered, we ordered two sheets of 14 gauge, and I, I would call, call that sort of half plate. Look at that, we got a dragonfly. They're, they're good luck, are they not? I'm not sure. Um, we have, uh, two sheets of 14 gauge. Okay, got two dragonflies. Two oh, good lucks. Wow. But what, what has happened is I got them to shear it at 10 inches. Where 10 inches is our widest point on the, the where we're sheathing it. 10 inches is the widest. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get it. I'm going to have some difficulty up in here uh, because of the fact that I've got it sheared straight, obviously. Now I've got it 10 inches. And when I sheared it that way, we were obviously, we had enough or we I think we have enough to go around both sides with two sheets. If I just bought the sheet and tried to make the pieces, um, just making this one piece here and, and this here, it probably would have ate up, you know, we probably would have been into three sheets because we would have ate up just because of the shape of it. I'm going to have to add some small pieces. I am, like when, when I add the 10 inch piece here, it's going to come through here. And then when I come down here, it's going to come onto it, but there's going to be something missing in here. I'm going to have to add to it, and I do not mind adding to it because of the cost and the price, basically. I'm not going to buy four sheets to sheath something. I can try to do it in two, um, basically. So we've we got 10, we got some 10 inch strips. Um, I probably should have grabbed a couple 12s. That's, that was that was foolish of me. I should have grabbed a couple 12s for this down here. I got them to rip it in 10s. We'll go with it. I got some 10s, four 10s, and two 8s, or one 8 out of one sheet. Just looking at something here for a second. Looked like a toenail, but it's not. It's a piece of metal. I was going to say, wow, that's quite a toenail. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to sheath this in. Uh, this is a, a nice project, too, I think, because anybody has an old car... Um, that's 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 great but if you want it to but like these bigger trucks are hard to deal with and a lot of people don't are in, are not interested in them because they're bigger and they're you know they want the half ton or whatever but what a great idea eh, to make a hauler for your automobile um, and that's what these things I would say these are good for these big trucks and I'm happy to do it and we have the race car that Jolene has and it's basically just going to fit on here and it's basically going to be the race car or the hauler for the race car and uh, what a fun project it is. and these vehicles here are not that big of money I mean I know I, we paid a little bit for it but they're not that big of money that you somebody can't run out and buy one if they're working and, and going forward in life I've got a 10 inch piece here oh I should show this off first we went and got a we it was Christmas yesterday. We went to Princess Auto. It's hard to get out of Princess Auto without spending some money. We got a wench yesterday. It was on sale. I think we got it for $2.19. And we bought some ramps. The ramps were, I think, $119. They were fairly reasonable. So we went with it uh, for me to make them uh, and to be this light. No. So basically, that's what we have going on. I have to make a shelf there for it. And basically, that's, that's our, our ramp-looking thing going on. I think it's quite... Looks good. I'm happy with the ramp situation. Just show and tell before I go too far, start putting some metal on. Or maybe I should get, get to work and start putting some metal on because I might not get much done. Also, we got a, we had a piece of angle iron here at the end to connect the exhaust pipe. Um, I had nowhere to run a gusset to make it nice and strong. So at the end, um, there's going to be wood on this deck of this on, the, on this bed, it's going to be wood. On the end, I added some 2 by 2 3 16 so You can see it's on here. The wood's going to come down to it. And uh, this is going to give me the strength. I cut off the end of the beaver tail. And I set the 2 by 2 on top of the, the rail, the frame rail. So that should be good and strong. And I can't see that ever bending to go up on. Also, also, me, I'm busy. Also, I took some angle iron and some flat plate. 
I flat plated this here uh, from the length of the wheel where the cross members were. The cross members came here. I had nothing joined them together. I put some quarter inch flat plate across there and I put some angle iron over to the exhaust pipe, angle over to the exhaust pipe. This is going to be my wheel tub here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, or I'm thinking that I'm going to make the wheel tub so it's removable. So when we put the car up on, we take the wheel tub off, the car goes right over, drives right on top of the wheel itself, right over, because it's nice and round. If I put something like this in here, I'm going to have a, a bump up in there. Like, you know, I'd have something meeting the exhaust pipe, I'd have something coming up like this and coming over and then down. I don't think I want it to run up on, try to run up on that. So what I'm thinking, I'm hoping, is I can make something that I can pull the wheel tub off and then clamp it back on. Race car can go over top of it, right on. Once it's on there, I can bring over my wheel tub. Uh, this is all going to be open here, so I'll just come over and put my wheel tub back on. We'll see what happens. So I got both sides done like that. I've got this one here, quarter inch flat bar going across, and I got some uh, angle iron there. And that way there, when I bring my wood all the way along from the front to the back, I've got a place to knock it down. I, you know what I'm trying to say? I can knock it down and cut it off, and then, then my wood can go right along here, and I got a place to end it. So all the way around there, it's nice. I got two more cross members to put in here. Um, not in there yet because what what's going on is when I got this 14 uh, 14 gauge when I plate this in here Then I'm going to knock a piece of metal on the side of that plate Over here knock a piece of metal on from wherever wherever it lies this this where it lies with this Then I can weld this cross member to the piece of metal that I've got welded to the 14 gauge To give it something to connect to if I run across here now I've got nothing to connect it to so that's why they're not there yet so basically I got to sheathe it and then I can put my cross members in and do whatever I have to do to make it work. So I got two more cross members, she that put the wood bed on, put the winch on. Winch or winch? All right, so this is my first piece I'm gonna try go for. What I did is I took uh, some uh, clamps there, some vice grips, and uh, got them to I'm going to move that grinder out of the way for a second. I'll cut that cord up. Might drop that. So it should be a big visual day if I can get a couple of them on there to show you what it looks like. We'll go from there. Jeez, I didn't get a marker yet. Go for a marker. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on there the easiest possible. Usually what I do is make paper patterns. We're just going to, I'm just going to go with it and put these on, see if I can trace them out and make it. So this would be a 10 inch piece. I could have got a couple 12 inch pieces to do that. Would have given me the whole length and I would have more to, if you know what I'm trying to say, it would have been wider so I can get, because that's going to have to be cut probably in three or four different pieces. Alrighty. Basically what I'm going to do is set that on there. I'm going to clamp that. My chair's the holder, to, or my helper today. I, just, I really want, I would like to have... the... Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. So what's going on is, uh, what's going on is, so I got that uh, laid on there. I'm sort of, I like to have that sort of, not sort of, I would like to have it in the middle of the exhaust pipe um, the best I can. So it gives me that flat shape and then you see the round shape. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to trace my pattern. And this is the part, I'm not say scared about, but just, And there can be a little bit distance, a little distance in between it. Get up in here.
that didn't go right at all. So that's that's what I'm nervous about. Um, we got a, we got a piece of exhaust pipe. That's what I'm nervous about. Not getting the right cut. Oof. Heavy. Hmm. Okay, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get something that's going to work there. I probably should have pulled it that way some to get as much as I could out of that piece. Got down there a little long and wasting. Hmm. I'm going to pull it down just in case. I'm going to put it down that way. I don't want to waste that some. Darn it. Darn it. But I don't want to waste it in case I need it. There's no sense in me wasting that half a foot. No sense at all. Ah! probably why I did it because it stayed for me. No, nope, there he's here. Julie's gonna help me hold that on the end there. I just don't want to waste it that's all. There's no sense to waste it. Let me take a second. Let's remark that. Now I got more metal for something else. It's too it's too much money to to just go and do that. I'm gonna get down this time. Get down. And it's best for me to get down because. I might get a truer read. That's good. That went well. Okay, let's do that. You can see when this piece comes down, I'm going to miss a piece right here, but I'll cut it out of something like that. And that's the reason I'm going to try to save a little bit. Hey, heavy stuff. Alrighty. I'm going to cut it with the plasma cutter. I'm going to turn on the. Don't want to use a grinder just on it, it's just a lot of noise. You can. Obviously use whatever you want to do to cut your your metal I'm going to use the plasma cutter the reason for uh, is noise and uh, The grinder just costs money just as well as anything else Yeah, so this is a great little project for something that if you have a if you have an old car and um, you, you can acquire a truck like this fairly reasonable uh, it's a nice project to build something for your car. I know um, there's a lot of nice race cars with haulers on the back, uh, and uh, they're, they're good to look at. I like them. Also, if you have a, a garage or a shop or something like that, um, if you have two, a hauler and your car, well, then it would take one space. I was telling Jolene that I'm going to have to make a few more haulers. Jolene's looking amazing today. It's Friday. I'm, I'm hoping that me and Jolene can go out to supper somewhere or something. She looks amazing today. I'd like to, I'd like to go on a date with her. <laughs> that would be nice. Alrighty. Plug that in. Turn this bad boy on. I've got some glasses right here. I'm gonna put some gloves on. I'm probably gonna freehand this. I am going to freehand it. 
I got the flapper wheel there to make it smoother a little bit, a little bit smoother. And then we're gonna go for it. It's a beautiful day. Just trying to get the most comfortable, most comfortable to cut something off. That's basically what I'm doing, getting the most comfortable as I can. Stab that. That's how it goes. Just stab that. Hmm. Hoping that won't cut the table. Shouldn't. What do I want? I want the furthest one back. Do I know it? Um, That's furthest head. No, I want this one. Yeah. That line's ahead of that line, so that line's gonna be ahead of that line. Keep me straight, baby. Keep me straight. This bad boy has a built-in air compressor. Has a built-in air compressor. All right. Gonna knock off the edges. Should see if it fits first. Hello, Fina. It does. It does. Got a little bit of a gap going on there. That's fine. Gotta fill that gap in, anyways. Um, I gotta cut a little bit off the end of that. Let's fit down here. Yep. Ah! Gee, that's heavy. Sorry, sweetheart. Oh, you, you got a hold of it? Get your fingers out of it, isn't it? Sorry. Let go. I had it better the first time, I think. There we go. Yeah, 
that works all right. That works all right. We got a gap going on there. Something going on back here. It's got taken. There we go. That links in that up a bit. All right. Oh, look at that. I got my marker. Stay. Stay. And stay. Please. Gonna do that with a flapper wheel. Just turn that off for a second. It's gonna be loud, maybe. I'm not sure. See what happens. See if we even need it or not. They're hoping that we do. That air is a bit much. Yeah, so it should be a good visual. And if you can take your brain into this, I know. I know sometimes it's it's sometimes a person doesn't want to use it. But if you think about this for a second, this is 14 gauge. It's it's quite thick. If I have this welded on here and that piece of exhaust pipe welded on there, that, this with the length of that and the length of the exhaust pipe down the bottom and the piece of metal in between with this welded in there straight, you can imagine how hard that would be to bend or to bend down. So one of them cross members, if one of them cross members coming across tried to come down, you'd have to rip that, bend that, and bend that, basically is what I'm trying to tell you. If the cross member is connected here, and this is connected to this, and this is connected welded on the bottom of it, for, in order for this cross member here that's welded on this here to bend down, that means you'd have to rip that. I, I'm not sure what, what kind of pressure uh, or what kind of weight it would take to rip a piece of 14 gauge. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking Jolene's race car is not it. <laughs> Did you find that funny, sweetheart? I did. When I put this in, I am not going to weld this thing from front to all the way along, every place, not gonna do that. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack it probably every so often. I need a little bit more off that. I can't help it, but I do. And that's the, that's the issue with doing this. It's kind of, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll go there again.
So I'm going to explain this. If I was to, if like when I put this on there, I'm not going to weld it continuously all the way around the exhaust pipe. I probably will do three, four inches apart, spot it, bump, 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 bump. Um, then I would grind it, run a bead of fiberglass on this side, run a bead of fiberglass on this side so it goes together. No way, no, there's no way that water would get in there and that's basically what I would do or what I will do or would do. Not sure if that's too much. Or... Not grinding that much off because that line doesn't look true. Gonna try it. I don't want to take too much off, and the reason being is, is uh, I want to use. There's enough pieces. We have 29 feet all the way around, and when we cut the pieces in tens or eight, we had. Uh, we have. Hey, there we go, see, look. If I had ground that too much further, I would have lost it. I would have lost it. Excuse me. I'm gonna grind that little bit out there. And I'm gonna go back for it. Ooh, I think we got her. All right. All righty. Stay. Whether it will or not is another thing. So we're set good. I want to thank everybody for coming back and watching. Appreciate it. Uh, you help us, and uh, we'll just keep doing it. And what I mean by helping us is just watching our station it's been going good like subscribe i don't know ring my bell write a comment and be happy <laughs> basically be happy now that's that's tight what i'm gonna do is i'm not sure yet that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna knock that on because it's in the middle and it would have to be um, let's do this. I'm hoping that, what I'm hoping is that, where's that piece? I got that hard up against that, that brace. Yeah, it took off. You know why it took off? Because a little bit of heat. Alrighty, I got a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit there for the flapper wheel. I'm going to knock this on because it'll want to take off. Beautiful you are, Jolene. Beautiful. hand on it so I can see.
Hey, I like it like that. I like it like that. This makes it nice. Now, basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna eye it up all the way along. The exhaust pipe, it's all I can do really. Other than, it's all I can do is eye it up. I'm gonna eye it up, tack it on. deal with it after. Just hammered in a little bit probably. A little hammer there. I got a little spot right there. I got to knock the head of it off. Nope. I'm just going to hit it with a hammer. at it, see if it's centered. There we go. Sticking on my shoelaces. Alrighty. I think I want to come over just a bit more. Hmm. Just trying to get it in position. It's good to me. It's all by eye. Put my hand around it. If I retouch each side, you know what I mean? I'm taking finger, thumb, just to kind of like basically get it. So I'm hitting it. Alrighty, up here. Taking a look, taking a look, taking a look. What they say, you can't see both sides at the same time. Well, I can see both sides. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Like you more, Joey. <laughs> you can't go that way. I took in uh, the grinder and run it down the center of We're a little bit shy there, but that does not matter. It's not hurt my feelings at all. It's pretty good, I'm gonna nail it. Okay, we're gonna leave that like that. First piece is in. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like that. I can go around there and tack that up anytime. Um, basically, I just want to put the pieces in to make it look good. I want to stand back and take a look at it for a second. Always stand back and take a look at it. See where you're going. Good. Let's do the front piece up here now. We'll do the front one up here. You know, it would have been nice or. The, uh, you know, it would be nice if you had one piece and you could get that corner all in one corner and then cut it off or butt it somewhere. But where I've sheared it in tens, I'm going to have to run one way and then butt it go across here. But to make something strong, you really want you really want to go around that corner 
on one piece and then put it together. But where we're doing it this way, it is the way that I'm doing it. Get a piece of metal. Ouch. That's something, huh? Being too correct, there's an eight inch piece. There's a 10 inch piece. I'm not messing with your your mic, sweetheart. Nope. I know I get in trouble. Not really, just having fun with her. That's basically it. Just having fun. Um, if you're able to help me there, Chicky, yep. are you able to hold this end down there maybe just for a second? Or? Mm -hmm. I just want to get the most out of it I can. Actually, I'm just gonna take it your way. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put it on this end and then I'll come down there and uh, we'll, we'll do that end. I'm saying right with somewhere. No, not losing much. What I mean by not losing, I haven't got it much. I can take it a little bit further. Miles it. Use it all. All right. When I pick the other end up, hopefully I'm, it'll give me a truer read. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. You know, measuring is one thing. Let go. I'm caught up there. Oh yeah, it's sitting right there. Oh, no, be right there. Thank you, my lovely assistant. Thank you. And let this end down. Alrighty. We're close. Trace. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Alrighty. Truish read or not. Hard to get the right read on a piece of exhaust pipe. And the reason being is I have to trace it off on the highest. You can get it angled off pretty quick. In the wrong way, you can. I don't like that. I gotta get in there. I don't like it. I gotta get in there. A lot of welding to something like this. Basically what I'm thinking is what it costs for material is what it would cost to build it. <laughs> Basically is what I'm thinking. And uh, it can get costly, all this metal. Nope. Didn't like that at all. Didn't. Alrighty. See what happens. So obviously we're gonna to have to butt a piece on that and go up there and do that, obviously. Oh, 
on the exhaust when I'm running my I'm tracing my line uh, the exhaust pipe the exhaust pipe comes around this is a this is, this is a difficult part you have to pay attention when it's when it's going on when I run my marker like that if I run my marker like that well then it's too short be too far I really have to keep the angle of the marker right to get on the highest part of the exhaust pipe I just can't go like that I'd be probably a quarter inch too small so you really have to be yeah just uh, keep your fingers crossed that's what I'm doing and it probably would have been better if I did it with cardboard first but I'm thinking of time and if you don't know it or not time costs money time is worth more than money and I know this because if you were in the hospital you wouldn't want more money you'd want more time do it I'm gonna grind that off with the flapper wheel just because I think it's be easier than me trying to plasma cut that don't want that to stab the piece this time. I'll stop before I get to the end. That might be a nice piece for the corner or something like that, or that piece. Waste not, want not, I guess is what I'm saying. Did not cut the table. That's good, so we'll do it again. Just gonna go a little bit up here. I wonder if I should put a straight edge on that. The reason being is, why not? I just don't want to pull it, I'm right handed, I want to get to the right side of the piece. Probably going a little fast, but... Worked out good. Fantastic. wheel. Knock that cone in there. I want to sand that instead of cutting that.
fan in on this side just for a second. It's actually nice to hold that up. Keep your fingers crossed, baby. Keep your fingers crossed. We don't have to come back. All we have to do is pull the welder a little further. That's basically it. See what happens. She's my lady. All right, that fits really good. Man, that guy did a good job on that one. What's his name? Oh, bad Chad. Bad Chad. There we got a little spot there. I got a fix. Ah, get up here. Mess around. Don't mess around. That fits good. Man, that's not, probably not the best down that corner, is it? Nope, I push that in a little bit. Oh, that fits good. Gonna knock a little bit off here. Do that one first and then I'll come back and check that one. Oh, sorry, did I get you? Mm -hmm. All right. Didn't want to get you, that's for sure. Shut that off for a second. We're into the flapper wheel now. We're not going to need any more plasma cutting on this one. Looks good. We'll do this little that spot first and then we'll do it i would never want to try to shave it all down at once because it probably wouldn't work well it probably wouldn't work well is that one okay there i'm loving that uh love my jolene that's for sure just a second we'll make sure this is right down here I would hate to start buzzing that down there when that's not up tight down there. All right, that's up tight. That's got to take more to sec, baby. Gotta take more off in there and all around the corners. Right huh? Yeah. She pointed it out for me, boys. Help me out. Help me out. Where you sometimes you gotta become an octopus and have different tentacles. Okay. Good. You really have to be careful when you're doing that because if something moves down the other end, um, then, you, then you've got the, actually you've got the wrong, the wrong mark.
it would be nice. It would be nice if it was just perfectly 10 inch the whole way or whatever it is and just cut it and uh, mark a couple corners and that stuff. But the whole thing has to be scribed. And what I mean by scribed is what I'm doing right this second to make it fit, uh, to do the, you know, to get it right. Now, gotta make this back here fit right where I was liking it. That's where I was liking it. Now, are we up in here yet, liking it yet? Nope, not close yet. Up front's not bad, it probably took a little, little much off the front, see, just like that. And that, that's fine by me, I, that's no problem welding it. It's just getting it fitting the best it can. And uh, that's where I wanna be, I wanna be fitting it the best it can. Take a look back here. I need what I need. That's, that's, so that's not bad now. Now I'm a little bit, now I'm better. Basically what it needs is a little bit off the whole top. A little bit off the whole length from what I see. And it needs a little bit off that edge. I need some off here, straighten that out. Get that in there. And then I need some off from right here. All the way back, it looks like to me. <laughs> I'm saying an eighth. I'm saying an eighth. Let's do it. How do I want to cut that now? This here can be ground off. From there back. I'm saying I need an eighth. how I want to get that, to be honest with you. Pretty hard to do with I'm going to flapper wheeled off because it's going to be hard to do with anything else. So here comes some noise. Turn your TV down or whatever you got to do. But for me to cut that off, cut off the zip cut, I suppose. Be probably easier than the flapper wheel. Let's check it out. Flapper wheel it is. I got a black line there, and all I'm doing is flapping wheel to the other side of the black line. I'm saying that's an eight.
Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Nope, I need to do another one. I should have just left it. I should have left. Well, that's not bad. good in there that works I need a little bit more from that mark and now I need a little bit more Do it again, I guess. Not feeling it, but <laughs> not enjoy running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but it, it is what I have to do. It is what I have to do. And what else would I be doing? Be sitting on the couch, I suppose. Picking my nose. Hard in the hand. Not used to a grinder sometimes, it'd be hard on you. Working my arm will work out. Anything to make it harder, me pulling on that cord and that cord holding that. Is that thing. I love it. I love it. It's fitting better and better all the time. Whoop, whoop. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Hickory dickory dock. Do 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 do. Now, am I loving it? 
I think so. I think so. Could be in there a little bit more. But then again, I can push that in a little bit. I'll push that in a little bit. Alrighty, time to get the welder, I guess. And if not, stay. Stay. That metal is well behaved. Isn't it? <laughs> well behaved. You know what it is? I got it fitting so dang good that it's not gonna move. I'll say that and it'll fall off. Basically. Alrighty. Alrighty, pull my pants up. Now, I'm gonna start somewhere. And I'm gonna start that little tiny corner right there. See that little tiny corner? I don't think I'm gonna go back for that little tiny corner. I'm just gonna bend it. What I mean by bend it is when I hit it with a hammer, it'll bend. Alrighty. Basically, yeah, it's nice. Not as nice as you, Jolene. Oh, baby. Not as nice as you. Taking a look. Just taking a look. Taking a peek. <laughs> All right. Shouldn't be going anywhere. It shouldn't be, but you never know. Okay. It's not going anywhere now. Um, we're fitting. Absolutely, like, beautiful. I might have to run the grinder. The zip cut. Said I was going to hit it. And I might. I'm just going to knock it. No, nope, I'm not going to knock it on anymore than I have to. Knocked on there, good. Good. Awesome. Let me get the hammer. Precision fitting. Beautiful. Now you're going to mess with it. Yeah. I get a little bit down here in the corner. You come see, baby. See what I'm up. See what I'm up against. So you can. Just show and tell. You can see the little tiny, see the tit of the corner there? Got a corner hitting on that weld. We'll bend that. that or just leave that. Jeez, it's pretty tight and ready. I'm gonna look on the back side. No. Just gonna knock it in just a little bit more if I can.
want to dent it. 14 gauge. But I do want to get that in there further. Now I think I might run the zip cut along the edge of that. That corner will bend over no problem. Well, it don't look bad actually. I'm going to leave that like that for now. I'm going to stick a piece of weld on right here. Now, for that to bend, it has to bend that, rip that, and bend that. Uh, yeah, I'll have to run that. That there will go in further. I just have to put a little zip, I take a zip cut, run the zip cut along the top of the metal, and then I'll push that in a little ways. I'm thinking that'll be fine. Don't want to dent it. Don't want to dent it. We'll put one more piece on. I'll try to get this piece on. Let's do it. Stand back. Take a look at it for a second. See if I like it. All right, looking good. The one on the top there. I'm gonna have the, the the strips are eight feet long, ten inches. So I'm only gonna get, you know, probably three, four feet out of that to get in there because it's going to be on an angle so I'm going to have to cut it but basically we're going to go for it that piece up through there let's do it hmm. um, I'm going to make a measurement and cut it off that way there it'll be easier for me to handle that's what I'm going to do Going to the top. Let's say 55. Freedom 55. 55. Also, we had no other way to get this metal home, so that's why we cut it up too. There was another reason there. Um, to put a 4 by 8 sheet in the back of our Suburban um, was a no-no. 55. I'm just going to do it on either edge, keep the tape straight, and that way there I know. This will be uh, a good piece here. This piece here, the shorter piece, will be a nice template for the top to get started. Uh, the reason being is it's a nice short piece and we'll be able to hold it up there and, and do the measurement and get it. And then we'll see how long a piece we can get out of that angle because that angle is going to destroy um, some of the metal because it's on an angle. If I had a full sheet, you could waste a bunch if you were going to do it in one piece, if you know what I'm trying to say. You could waste a bunch. I'm going to cut that off with the plasma cutter, make it easier. Hope you're having a good Friday. When you get home, work on your project. Have fun, and uh, I know how to have fun, or be happy, is to do what you want. Uh, do what you want to do, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. If you don't want to work on it, don't work on it. If you want to get inspired, come to the building with Bad Chad Page and Jolene. Um, we'll, we'll be working on ours, and uh, we'll inspire you to work on yours. Basically, that's what it's for. Now, let's do it. This one here is going to be a little more difficult, I think. I'm not sure. But we'll see. We got a little corner we're going to have to fill in there. Obviously. Yay. You okay? Cut right through my glove into my finger. Did it? Yeah, it did. Hard to believe, but it did. Cut through the glove and cut my finger. Wow. Gotta be careful. Do you want those rubber gloves? Huh? Do you want the rubber gloves? Um, texture. 
It's all right. I'll just uh, do it again, see if I can't cut my finger again. What I want to do here, it's not perfectly 10 in amongst this one. Look out, Fiend. Yeah, really. Cut Fiend in half. I wouldn't like that. Fiend don't want to be cut in half. What I'm going to do is, and I'm going to get a pair of, a pair of these. We'll tighten them up so we can get that to stay there. We'll be smart about it. We'll be smart about it. Try to be. Just starting to smart now it is. Come on. Now that bracket's in the way. There we go. Hoping, hoping, hoping. What I could do, what I could do. Nope. Alrighty. right read or not. The other side looks good. I'll take a look at it and we'll go from there. And basically, all I can do is Go for it and see what happens. That's starting to smart. It is starting to smart. I don't know how smart it is, but uh, cover for the... Started up the truck this morning, and there must have been a poor little feller that walked up and... Where'd you go? Right here to get your gloves. Ew. Nope. Walked up, started up the truck this morning, and the little tiny mousey came out the exhaust. He must have flew up, flew up, ran up the exhaust pipe last night, and uh, we scorched him. Poor little guy. What a way to go. What a way to go. All right, we're just going to leave that. I'm fine. It's leather, rubber. We all would have done the same thing. All right, I'm going to have to cut this off. I'm going to go with the biggest mark. Got to go with the biggest mark. Got to. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to use this, I think. Uh, put this on there. Put that over there. Put that over here. We'll use this here, and we just won't cut the table if possible. I'll cut this off first. I'm going to use the biggest mark. Now, I am going to... whisper going on there. Uh, got the guard on it. Just want to make sure I'm cutting the right, right line. Alrighty.
Why am I... Okay. Cutting the biggest line, obviously. Cool. Just gotta hit. This one I do not know. I do not know. Do 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 do. -do. I'm gonna straighten out this end. I can straighten that out any time. Let's get this fit and get it put on and stand back and uh, enjoy the fruits of our labor. I guess they call that. Ooh, don't wanna do that again. I'm gonna get that fitting on there. I'm gonna to have to cut a little piece for the corner there. And weld it in. Yes, I am. Stop it. fine line there. That's nice. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put that, I think it might fit actually. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that on there. You know, we need a little bit more off. But what I think what I'm going to do is, is I think I'm going to come along here. No, I can't. Gonna go with the first line. I'm just gonna run the flapper wheel up that a little bit. I think we got her. I know gutter's the last thing that goes on, but I think we got her. Take my hammer, straighten this out. Let's do it real quick with the plasma cutter. Hmm. Which one do we want? Which one do we want? When it's going down the side, when it's coming down like this and I can see it, if one side isn't fitting, I'll put one side in and then I can grab a zip cut and just run it down the other side because I can go right along with the exhaust pipe and see it. It's pretty hard to do it this way, but doing the straight up and down, I don't think I'd mind doing it that way. 
just to make it work. I want to turn that a little bit tighter. Turn it so tight you can't you can't squeeze it in. Can't look up, the sun is so bright. Oh, I did a good job on that. Just a little bit on that angle there, I see. I want to go that way just a bit. to hold that and make that work. Get on there, get on there. Are you able to hold that? Watch your fingers, you hurt, I'll tell you. Yeah, that's hard. You, how are you gonna hold it? I was holding it at the top and it, and it cut me. What I'm trying to say is, I just want to get it over tight as possible to get a true read. Ooh, there we go. Now it's fitting. Now it's fitting. Beautiful. There we go. Just a little bit on that edge. Yeah, just run the exact the. I haven't got my marker. Can you hold that for a second, sweetheart? Let's go get my marker for a second. Thank you, lovely assistant. Hope oh, the dog bell went off. Needs to come off. And I have a little bit on this side. Has to come off. Other than that, we're cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. One more time, and I think we got her.
tight on that one side and then I get to clamp it. We'll butt weld that together because that's what has to be done because that's what has to be done. Nailed it. I'm cooking with gas. When they're past that line where we were before. Uh, nope. Not really. I need... What do I need? I need more off that up there. Hard to look up. Gonna do it. Got to. Just gonna scribe it with my finger. We're gonna tack her on this time. We're gonna tack her on this time. Don't run plugged. Jolene's gonna grab that. Love the assistant she is. Well, we're we're we've had some people contact us about a few things, and. Um, Jolene's dealing with it, you know, on the computer and stuff. And uh, she said, you can send me Chad's email or Chad can send me his email if he wants. I couldn't build an email to save my soul. <laughs> Jolene, <laughs> if it wasn't for Jolene, I wouldn't be half the places in the world that I go. It's too funny. Oh, I'm upside down. I mean, I'm backwards. <laughs> but yeah, it's funny. Um, basically, basically, I'm a man of... I like to work, I guess. I like to work on cars. But when it comes to traveling, computer, or anything like that, um, I probably wouldn't have been anywhere in the world if it wasn't for Jolene, because I don't do the, I just don't do it. I'm, I don't have a phone, I don't have emails, I don't have, um, yeah, I haven't had a phone, I never had a phone. Don't want a phone. Don't need emails. Don't need to make an email. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Oh! baby all righty that's making me happy even got a nice gap down there for 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 whatever I'm gonna go right there because I, I don't like it Look at that right in the, man I like that oh I gotta bring that over a little further Snap it on down here. They're together now. Wind taking my taking my welder away. Now I'm going to stand back and uh, take a look at the fruits of our labor. And at any point in time, um, you need a compliment. Compliment yourself. 
I compliment myself all the time. Geez, Chad, you're doing a good job, buddy. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Basically, that's how it's going. Um, we have to go all the way around, and we got to go down the side. And the ones on, on that slope there, I'll, go, I'll grab a small piece just for you and I so you get to see what's going on. You stay there, Jolene, if you like. I'm going to have to do it out of small pieces. Because I'm thinking of the angle. You see, so I'm going to lose some angle, so I'm going to have to fill the corners in. That's what's going on. I'll have to do it in small junks. And that's okay. Because it's okay. Might be able to do a little bigger pieces than that, but that's fine. But basically, you see what's going on. I've got to scribe the bottom and the top. And I have to make the little have to make the little tiny corners. That's fine. It's 14 gauge. I can't see it uh, taken off too bad. If it was a thinner sheet, of, a thinner piece of metal, and I was welding the little corners in, I guess it wouldn't be that great. But where it's 14 gauge, I'll be able to put a little piece in that corner and make it fit really nice, and uh, grind it off so you can't tell I weld together. Exact same where I butted together. We'll butt that together. We'll do it on both sides so you can't tell. And we'll continue on. All right, everybody, have a great day. And uh, go home and work on your project or have a, yeah, do whatever you think you need to do. But that's what I'm doing. Um, like, subscribe, ring my bell, tell your friends, be happy, and see you tomorrow.